Hey there YouTube, this is Polar Bear 84 here, and then my third episode of A Bear's Guide to Hunting. Uh, if you don't know what it is, you missed the first two episodes. Um, basically it's a tutorial series. I'm, I'm going to take on the basically every large monster of Monster Hunter um, and use the weapons that I beat them originally to beat them again. Um, I thought it would be more helpful uh, than seeing me completely annihilate them with armour and weapons that you're not going to get for a long, long time. Uh, another thing I noticed about those tutorials, actually, amazing tutorials. Don't um, don't think I'm dissing them, those guys in any way. They help me out massively. But they've either got really loud music and subtitles, or just subtitles. And while that's useful, I think I don't know. I think speaking and talking to you guys and responding to you guys, I think it'd be a lot more helpful. Because you know, I ramble a lot. I'll probably might end up saying something that you guys will find useful. Probably won't, but you never know, it might happen. But anyway, um, two pink shades in the background. Smaller one is a conga, the larger one is the conga lala we're going after. Now if you've noticed, I am using my assassin's dagger again. Sorry, it's the wrong page. Assassin's dagger. It's got more green sharpness than the snake bite had. Um, only slightly, but um, yeah, it's, it's um, quite useful to have green sharpness for this guy, otherwise you're going to bounce off him a lot. And also you do more damage with um, the higher sharpness you have. So technically it's actually more more attack than this snake bite had. But um, okay, a few things you need to know about this guy. He's stronger than anything you've fought before. Um, his weak point is his face, so if you can hit his face, do. Although if you do, roll out of the way as quickly as possible because that's where he does most of his attacks. Um, he'll either swipe his claw in front of him, he'll charge, he'll jump and do a, a belly flop, which is not good. Um, he has an annoying breath attack as well, which he'll do very rarely when he's weak normally, but he might do it when he's not, so watch out for that. And you'll notice this one's got something in his tail. Uh, normally, it will be a blue mushroom, because that's what he uses to heal himself. But sometimes it will be a bone, and other times like it is today, it will be an ore. Now, if you want the ore, attack his tail until it breaks. However, be careful because um, when you do break his tail, he will start, he will be able to use his tail to fling dung at you because he's not holding anything in it anymore. Um, there are two attacks of his that um, you want to avoid. The dung one, throwing dung, and also when he farts on you because it will give you a status known as the soiled status and that is not good basically what it does is um, uh, you can't eat anything um, as you'd know when you smell something horrible you really don't feel you lose your appetite let's put it that way um, so yeah you can't eat anything which means you can't increase your health you can't increase your stamina um, a lot of bad things basically so what you need to do is make sure you've got deodorants with you like that just like in real life you throw it on the ground and no you don't um, not in real life you throw this on the ground um, and it will clear your status for you really that's all you need to know about those two attacks the flame breath stay away from because it really 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 hurts um, one thing you might want to do is get rid of any of his lackeys that are around you because more than not they will hit you especially when you're in the middle of something important um, let's see here I'm attacking the tail right now because I want whatever that is. It might be iron or it might be macrolite, I don't know. I don't think it actually changes. It could just be an earth crystal, I don't know. But um, I don't think it actually changes depending on what it is. I think it's just a random drop. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is the um, first quest I bought items on. Got potions, got mega potions. I bought more paintballs because you need to paintball this guy, which I haven't done yet because when he leaves the area um, it's very hard to tell sometimes where he goes so yeah you want that I want I mean this is actually if I'm gonna be honest this is the second time I'm recording this the first time I spent half an hour following this guy through the forest from area to area and I could not find him and even when I did I couldn't didn't have time to paintball him before he ran off again so yeah trust me keep this guy painful as long as you can because otherwise you're never going to find him again uh, let's see 
Oh yeah, uh, weak attribute. He does have a weak attribute. Not all monsters do. Um, this guy does. It's fire. So if you can get it, do. But I didn't have it when I fought him. Still don't actually. So even if I did have it, I wouldn't be able to. Oh yeah, um, he's run away right now. But you'll have noticed he stood on his hind legs, um, farted, which is always nice of him, and his um, nose and behind turned red. That means he's enraged. He's one of the f um, first monsters you'll encounter where he actually rages. It's never good. They're always faster. They're always stronger. Um, some of them have special attacks that they do when they are enraged. But I don't think he does. I think he's just annoying. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. Weak point is his head. When you do break his head, um, he can drop vibrant pelts. So if you need those and you've been wondering how on earth you get them, that's how you get them. You break that yellow crown on his head and it'll give you a vibrant pelt. If you need it for armor or weapons or whatever, that's how you get it. Um, let's see here, what else? Um, oh yeah, uh, you've seen him do it a couple of times. His three strike attack. When he does it, uh, it tires himself out and he falls over. He'll always fall over to his left, your right. Um, and that's important because then he takes a few moments for of a breather. And when he does, you can hit him in the head a couple of times. It's also a good time to charge for um, great swords. If you don't know what that means, try great swords. Um, they're very, very good. Very strong, slow, but you can guard with them. That's very important. You can't do that with hammers, which is why I never really got got along with them. Um, yeah, when he sniffs like that, it means he's going to go eat. Um, for me, he always ends up eating in area one. Don't know why. There's a small mushroom patch there, so he's going to drop the ore to eat, unfortunately, which means I'm going to lose it. But um, you know, I tried. Nearly got it. Oh, nearly got him. Nah, I'm not going to get that ore. Yeah, when he goes to eat, he'll drop whatever he's holding, get a mushroom out, and then when he sits back up, he won't be holding it anymore, unfortunately. And unfor that doesn't mean you can pick it up either. So, um, yeah. There's the fire breath I told you about. Very annoying. It can change, actually, as well, depending on what area he's in. I don't mean area as in area of this map. I mean places. You fight him in uh, the swamp, which you'll get in the next star quest, if you haven't, if you haven't done it in the three star quests. Um you're not there yet. When he's in the swamp it'll either be paralysis or poison and it does change randomly throughout the uh, quest so be careful of that. Um, let's see, oh yeah, if you guys do want me to use a different weapon um, let me know. I know I've used swords for the past three quests. I'm going to use it for the next one as well because that's what I actually used but um, I am lining myself up to use great swords and also long swords when the occasion takes me. But um, uh, yeah, when you are dealing with the small monsters, you definitely want to deal with poor fangos. They are really, really annoying. Keep your camera on the big guy because he almost hit me with that. Um, they're the ones that do the most damage after all. Um, but yeah, I'm lining myself up for uh, great swords and long swords. It's not easy um, trying to keep three separate ones going, but I'll try my best. Um, and if you guys do um, have any suggestions that you want me to use, like uh, lances, which I've never used before, or um, gun lances, or hammers, hunting horns even, you let me know and I'll give it a shot, I, I guess. I can give it a try. See what happens. Um, with the Congolala nothing really much else to say stay away from him stay away from his backside obviously for good reasons and if you are next to it roll to the side because he never tends to hit you if you do uh, which is quite handy but honestly I um, can't really think of anything else to say um, more and more monsters will rage the further you get into the game and every time they do they're always stronger and they're always faster so um, they normally, you can normally tell, with this guy it's quite quite obvious, but most of them, it's normally evident by, you can see their breath with a, with a wyvern or a dragon, it's normally fire. With the, um, with crabs, with the Damien Hermitor um, and the Shogun Sienator I believe, 
you can see that you, they basically start foaming at the mouth, basically. Um, but yeah, oh, that was close. But yeah, roll to the side of him. Don't roll to your side. Roll to the side of him, and he shouldn't hit you with it. Um, uh, let's see. Nothing else really to tell you. You see, you can see his breath, and it sort of looks like bad breath, I think. But um, yeah, it can be quite annoying. If this quest starts running over 15 minutes, I will stop talking, speed it up, and talk to you again at the end. But we seem to be doing all right. I just knocked him over. So actually we seem to be doing quite good, I think. Last time, like I said, half an hour and he still wasn't dead. It did not go well, I can tell you that much. Uh, but at least you guys know I try. You know, I don't just give you any old video I record. I try. I do. Um, let's see. Oh, fire breath. It, does, it doesn't have that big range, so you don't have to worry too much. But if you are in front of him, which you normally will be like that, roll behind him. Roll roll in front of you so you're not next to him and that way uh, he's still painful right yeah that way he shouldn't hit you with it um, let's see just gonna take a drink of coffee I'll tell you coffee's a good drink if you haven't tried it give it a shot but get your parents permission first unless of course you're of the right age in which case go it's not that it's a bad drink, it's just that it can, it can make you hyper a little bit, so be careful with it. But yeah, it's a good drink, I like it. Always nice to have one. I find it helps me uh, helps me concentrate, with, um, yeah, stops me from rambling. But you see how it looked? It looked like that guy was going to jump into area 9, he jumped back into 1. Which is why you should always keep him paintballed. As a matter of fact, I might paintball him again. Ah, he's limping. Fantastic. And fantastic. As um, Fix It Felix likes to say. Uh, if you guys haven't seen Wreck It Ralph, oh my god, I love that movie. It's so funny. Me and my wife went to see it in the cinema. Ah, oh, I loved it. I thought it was great. As, as a guy who sort of knows his games every now and then, a couple of them I've recognised, obviously, Mario and Sonic. But yeah, it was. I liked it. I enjoyed it, and my wife liked it too. She's not into games, but she still enjoyed it. So that was good. Yeah, I I, I recommend. I found it funny. Um, and you know what surprised me about it? Those of you who have seen it, um, Fix It Felix isn't a real game. It, I thought they'd taken an arcade game and made it into a movie, but no, they made it up. I want to play it. I think it's on the um, iPhone as an app. It's on the iPhone, right? Yeah, yeah, it's on the iPhone. You can get it as an app. Um, I want to play it. I might end up, might end up getting it. You never know. But yeah, back to this. Um, when he runs to area six, that is his healing area. Um, when he's really, really weak, I'm going to capture him because I can't be bothered hitting him twenty thousand times and him just running off, which is what happened last time. In case you're wondering why I said that. Uh, like I said before, always hit them a couple of times before you put them in the trap. Uh, if you end up killing them, I guess that is what happens. There is a skill where you can... Oh, I ran right into that one. There is a skill where you can tell them whether they're going to be captured or not. I can't remember what it is. I'll look it up for you guys. But um, basically, when they can be captured, their um, icon changes. I think it goes blue. I might be wrong. When you paintball them, I think it goes blue. I can't remember what skill that is. It might be, actually, Psychic Vision. But I might not be, so uh, don't quote me on that. I'll have a look. Um, yeah, I think this guy's almost dead. Um, you can break his claws. I'll start giving you a list of things you can you can break off of him. His claws, his um, tail. Even when he hasn't isn't holding anything, you can still break it. And his crown, like I said, if you want vibrant pelts. And also, like I said, if I don't know if I mentioned it this time, but when you capture monsters. What you get depends on what you break. So if you break their claws, you'll get more claws. If you break their head, you'll get uh, hopefully vibrant pelts for this guy anyway. If you break his tail, um, I don't think you get congolala tails, but you can break his tail. Um, he should be almost dead, I think. I don't know if I want to try trapping him or not. Last time it didn't work. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. 
you don't try, you don't get. My dad used to say. I oh, know you say you don't ask, you don't get, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's see. No, that's deodorant, that won't work. Come on. Yes, there we go. He's asleep. It's quite funny actually, when he is asleep, um, he will scratch his belly every now and then. Like that, it's quite funny. Um, but yeah, that's that's the Congolala. Went a lot better this time. I uh, hope I gave you some useful tips uh, amongst all the rambling about different weapons and Wreck It Ralph. Um, like I said, I'm going to try different weapons later on. Um, as a matter of fact, I've got um, one lined up where I'm going to be doing a great sword. So, yeah. And it's also quite a useful weapon to use for the quest I'll show you it on. But that's not the next episode, that's a later one. Next episode is the Yan Cuckoo. Um, first wyvern you fight, but don't be worried about it, it's quite easy. As a matter of fact, it's laughable. Um, yeah, it's a very, very, very easy um, monster to beat. It can be annoying, uh, it's another one that treads on you and hurts you, but we'll talk about that in the next episode. Anyway, if you guys, like I said before, and like I will always say, if you guys enjoyed it, let me know. Comment, like, um, whatever you guys want to do. If there's anything I can improve, I was told I was supposed to talk louder, so I've been trying to. If I still need to again, let me know. Um, and yeah, I hope I, I gave you some helpful hints. But yeah, like I said, weak point is the head, weak to fire. Um, and yeah, just have fun. I'll speak to you guys soon.